Good morning, everyone. Uh, Tony here. Uh, well, I finally finished NGC. Let me show you. NGC 2175. Um, very excited because I had a lot of setbacks in uh, post processing. Tried to use StarNet, wasn't very successful with that. Um, and so I had to kind of go between, yeah, it's the Monkey Head Nebula uh, project. So I stacked basically uh, 100 frames, 100 light frames at uh, three, five minutes a piece, give me a total of 8.3 hours total on this project. So here it is right here. And uh, I went through the pre-processing. I created a mask. I was able to create a mask, and then um, I was, a and then I was able to denoise the background as much as possible, and um, then work on um, you know minimizing my stars. So basically, the programs I used in post-processing were. Let's see if I can get here. We go. I'll just go. I'll point to them. Okay, I started off by debayering the files. If I can find it, I'm probably right past it. Here we go. Okay, then after you debayer, you go to subframe selector to measure your file so you find a reference file. Then you go to local normalization. That cleans up your files in terms of gradients and you know artifacts and stuff like that in the, uh, the frames. And then you stack your your subs, your sub light frames uh, with star alignment. Then after that, I do the last step in uh, pre-integration, which is drizzle. Uh, if I can find that drizzle integration, then that produces an image. And then after that, I I went to dynamic crop. If I can, I'm all over here. right here dynamic crop and then automatic background extraction and then I created a mask okay I mean I need to create a whole video just on how to create a mask because that's kind of a uh, process all onto its own you know but then after that you I go to um, uh, let's see multi-scale linear transform which is how you denoise the background and to then to um you know clean up the stars and maybe decrease their size so they're not so overbearing in the image you go to morphological transformation and then i did um some final cleanup work and um histogram transformation uh, which is, uh, here we go, Let's see, oh, I know I'm passing it, here we go, histogram transformation, and then I do color saturation, let's see, color saturation, right there, and I did this other one called background background neutralization. I think it kind of helped with denoising the background. Um, and then I did my final cleanup here in GIMP. So uh, I did I did uh, everything I just communicated in um, PixInsight, and then I took this image and moved it over here and did some final clean cleanup work over here, and then I called it a day on processing. NGC 175 or the Monkey Head Nebula. So, uh, interesting name. Okay, Monkey Head Nebula. NGC 2175. And so, I'm happy to say that I finally got one of those projects finished that I was communicating to you earlier. I wanted to feel like I had something to deliver to you because here I was, you know, going through these studies. Um, having problems with computers in terms of not having enough RAM memory, not enough processing power. I had to upgrade my computer and then I had to go through everything again 
and PixInsight, and after I upgraded my computer, I basically went to Amazon, got a refurbished uh, Dell Optiplex 7010. So anyway, I beefed up my computer, and then um, called it a day. So I hope everyone enjoys this. I uh, shared shared out on my uh, Facebook page, and now I'm uploading this uh, uh, to my um, YouTube channel. So I hope you enjoy this. So I hope everyone's having a great day. Clear dark skies, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.